Hi there kids! Did you know that clocks can either be analog or digital? I bet you did. Digital clocks use numbers to represent hours, minutes and seconds. You can find digital clocks on your smartphones or iPads or even on your computer. So many people find it very hard telling time with an analog clock. But don't worry. Today you will learn how to read both the digital and the analog clock. So kids, let's do a quick revision. It is easier learning to tell time if you know the role each hand plays. The analog clock has three hands which are important for telling time. The seconds hand is the fastest, and every time it completes one round around the clock, 60 seconds have gone by. Remember this, 60 seconds make one minute. The next hand is the minutes hand. It counts the minutes in time. It takes 60 seconds or one minute for the minute hand to move from one position to the next, just like so. And for the minute hand to move from one number to the next number. It takes a total of five minutes, which simply means the seconds hand went five times round the clock. So how many minutes did it take for the minutes hand to move from 12 to 3? That's right, 15 minutes. In telling time words, 15 minutes is the same as a quarter. So when reading the time, we will say, it's 15 minutes past the hour or quarter past the hour. A clock has four quarters. So when the minutes hand is exactly on six, we say, it's half past the hour or 30 minutes past the hour. Same goes for this. If the minute hand is on nine, what do we say? We can say it's quarter to the next hour or 15 minutes to the next hour, but we can also say it's 45 minutes past the hour. When the minute's hand makes a full round on our clock, one hour has passed. Always remember 60 minutes make one hour. Every 60 minutes or one hour, the hour hand moves to the next number, like so. Are you ready, kiddos? If the hour hand is on five and the minute hand is on nine, can you tell me what time it is? Here is a small hint. Do you know the answer now? You are so right. It's quarter to five or 4.45. Or we can also read the time as 15 minutes to five. Let's try again. When the minute hand is on seven, and the hour hand is closest to two. Can you read the time on the clock? Let me give you another hint. Can you read it now? You are so smart. It's 35 minutes past two, or we can also read it as 25 minutes to three. What time is it? When the minute's hand is pointing at four and the hour hand is on 10, Take your time. You can do this. You are pretty smart. It's 20 minutes past 10. You see how easy it is to read the time. On to you, Sammy. Thank you, John. It is super easy to read the digital clock. To the left, the numbers represent the hours, and to the right, we have the minutes. If you look closely, you will also see the letters AM or PM. AM tells you if the time is before noon or before midday, while PM stands for after midday. To tell the time from a digital clock, all you need to do is just to read what you see. Well done, it's 6.25 PM. Can you read the time? Just read what you see. Amazing, it's 11 o'clock. How about now? Come on, you can do this. That's great. It's 8.45 a.m. So we are at the end of this time learning episode. Reading time is not that hard. All you need to do is keep practicing. And before you know it, you'll be able to tell the time even in your sleep. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye, kiddos.